Welcome back guys to Savvy Kick FC as we take our team that we just created from EFL League 2 right through to the Premiership. And you know what's interesting? We are only using African regions, African youth pro project and we're so close, we're so close guys to having our full African side. You know, let's sort this by positions and you can see we have left backs, we have right backs, we have centre backs. Mohamed looks like he's going to be decent. Apaya and Kawasi, they look like, they look like they're going to be the crucial cogs in the machine for us from a defensive position. And then, you know, moving into midfield, we have a couple, we have Modest Torre Tur um, as a centre defensive midfielder. We have Manga, who looks really good as an attacking midfielder. And it's going to be so interesting to see how these guys all develop. And as, as you can see, from their nationalities they're all from nigeria south africa ivory coast cameroon and this is our youth team guys you know it's so interesting like i was playing um in my other save with crystal palace and for the most part you know you look at european players you look at south american players and you don't really know what's out there in the african regions you don't really see a lot of youtubers talk about what's in the african um in the african continent so you know that's what spurred this and you know we're gonna we're gonna stick with it we're gonna we're gonna do at least three seasons because we really want to try and get into the premier league see how these players not only develop but how far we can take them so we had one other scouting trip in morocco this month um no one really tickled my fancy you know no one really came through and i thought yeah this person is gonna revolutionize our youth team uh, so I moved on to um, South Africa again and really I think the position that we need is another winger So um, David Smith he looks decent However, you know, it could be early days, but in Kossi he looks like he's gonna be a right player Only only 15 years of age um, Can play on the left I'm probably gonna retrain him to play on the right hand side and have him as like an inverted winger But he looks like he's gonna be a right player guys we made the right decision bringing him into the squad he has great stats from agility balance sprint speed um most of his stats look really good and he can play as a camera as well so you know and Kossi, welcome to the club our team is shaping up wonderfully our team is definitely shaping up you know i can't wait for the january period where we can promote well, we're, we're gonna promote all of these guys come january <laughs> come january we're gonna bring them all up to the senior squad we're gonna sell the majority of our first team players and then we're gonna be playing with a purely purely african youth team in english division two i can't wait to do that guys hope you're gonna be here with the journey so we're gonna slap um that training plan on and cosi um, try to get up his defensive and we're gonna play our first game up against Crawley so you know that's our formation we changed it up a bit um, we have Howells coming in at attacking mid and Fisher let's see if he can continue his great form for us come on you Lions in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league please welcome to the pitch the visitors the Lions can he add to his tally today live on EA TV? And the ball with Forster. Can he put it in? Well, I must say, I thought they were up. in. And threading it through. High and more than a bit hopeful. Might work out. And effectively parried away by the keeper. A chance. Conroy. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Holding it up, waiting for support to arrive. Angles it back. To the advanced position and he's through here oh in a good area of the pitch can he 
finish them off. He's done it. What a climax to this game. Nice weight on the pass. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, that's a great clean sheet for them. And they deserve great performance by the lads. Fisher playing well again. Um, we move on to the next one against Salford FC, Common Lions. You know, we're just going to be running through these games um, in November and December, trying to get to the rebuild uh, um, section of the save in January. Let's go. No, and this game was ter was very, very tough for us. You know, this tackle by Berry, I don't know how the referee thought that was inside, but, you know, he ended up giving away a penalty. In my opinion, it was just outside. Lima, 17 year old keeper, a lot of pressure on his shoulders in this one. Just got just dives a bit too early and he chips it down the middle. What can you do about that? And they're in again. Um, Watson had the ball, passing it to Davies, passed it inside to Henry, and he drills it in the bottom left corner. Nothing Lima could do against that one. And they just literally ripped us apart all game. All game. Ingram came down the right hand side, coming inside to Malian, well, Malon. And he draws in in that side as well. So I'm not sure if that's a weakness for Lima. <laughs> but um, yeah, they literally took the game to us all game. We couldn't really do anything. We were well beaten. And um, no complaints really. You know, we didn't turn up. Well, that's harsh. We turned up. But um, we just got beat by the better side, to be honest. But you know what? Games like that that shows you the level you have to be in order to get points in this league even though it's um, an English division league too. So in our next game we are going up against Wrexham, made a slight change to our formation because I think we can probably get more players up the field uh, so made Garner be the solitary deep midfielder and incorporated two attacking midfielders so we have Bernard and Howells now playing. Come on you Lions. Composed and patient passing. Looking for a teammate. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Mendy has it. Opportunity. No shortage of excitement. Level again. Davis. Well, the supporters think it's on. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. And on the back of that decision, now it's a caution. Well, it's a tight call, but in the end... And in it goes, as coolly as you like. This could be the equaliser. But, oh, what an important save. Sweet looking move from Lyons. Can he get them level? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no Must take the lead here. That is tackling of the highest order. Now Lyons exploiting the space on the flank. So the team were playing fantastically well and as you can see in the top left we brought on our wonder kid Mertens from the youth academy um i think he was making his one of his first starts um just came on and we had a late opportunity here he does a wonderful one two with fisher and look at the composure in the lads oh great finish you have no complaints about that that is top draw finish Great composure shown by Mertens and that is exactly what we want to see from our youth players and you know I can't wait until we use him a bit more you know when we can actually try to see what the youth players can offer us that is a great one too that is a great one too perfect execution and perfect finish wrapping his left foot, his left foot around it and slotting it in the bottom corner let's go so we ended up winning this one 3-2 tight game team played fantastic well from the back and um, you know we keep on going we keep on going that's all we can do at this stage we keep on learning keep on pushing 
keep on trying to bring step of our best foot forward and um, whenever we can bring on the young players we bring them on see what they can show Mertens came through clutch with a wonderful goal Fisher doing the showing his quality and you can't really complain of that can we and I mean we had Howell as well that was our first time that we had Howell um, and Gard no, no, not Gardner not um, Howell playing um, attacking mid so you know fantastic result for the team ended up doing some new contracts and letting some players go and our next game is against AFC Wimbledon let's go you Lions let's continue our good form let's continue growing and show the world what we're all about the day is here the match everyone has been talking about and with good reason two teams of strong pedigree rich in talent on the cusp of going head to head in a highly significant confrontation with so much to play for how will it pan out Stay with us, we'll have every kick of the ball for you on EA TV. You know, unfortunately, this game was very difficult to play because of the kick clash. But you know, it taught me something new. Now, before games, I check the kit that we're using. Um, you know, it's been a long time since I've actually ha had a game that ended in this manner. It actually ended nil nil. You know, very tough game. Um, ended up using um, Mertens again, bringing him on. So he got some valuable experience, but all in all, um, match ended in 0-0. It was a tough game. When Wimbledon are one of the tough teams in the Division League 2, I think. So um, no complaints there. One point is better than no points. Um, and all we can do is, like I said, keep on pushing, keep on growing, keep on getting better. Keep on moving up the table. Everyone expects us to get relegated. Well, you can't even get relegated past this point, to be honest. But everybody expects us to come bottom of the league or in the bottom position. So we're playing well so far. I have no complaints whatsoever about our performance. And um, I'm sure we're going to go from strength to strength. Next up, we are up against Mansfield. Let's try and get the three points, lads. Let's continue our growth. And let's continue moving up the league. Look at that cut by Thomas. Wonderful cut. Can he finish? Yes, wonderful goal. There you go. Thomas getting us off to a great start. And, um, you know, the change in formation is actually working really well for us. I'm starting to see that we're creating more. There's more opportunities for us to, um, for us to actually score goals. Fisher still doing well. That's a great goal by them, to be fair. You know, they worked it really well um, inside from the right-hand side. Um, and Lima couldn't get that. Lima is actually improving, but in terms of um, um, certain goals that go right in the corner, um, he needs a bit more help. That was a dirty tackle by Nichols. That was a dirty tackle. Should have been sent off. <laughs> Should have been sent off. Um, so we have Mertens there. Wonderful touch. Gets it back. Can he finish? Wonderful drive into the bottom corner for Mertens. And he is really showing his class, this young lad. You know, he hooks up, links up with Fisher again and gets it into the bottom corner. They're striking up a nice partnership. The long throw comes in um, by Kello Dunn. They're about to have a shot too, but Lima comes through clutch this time around and makes a wonderful save. That's a great opportunity spurned by Mansfield. Fisher showing his physical attributes. He's so strong. You have to love it and he puts a wonderful finish into the bottom corner of the of the, of the field um you know this is just exactly what we expect from the side um they're starting to show top cohesion starting to show um that they're gelling that they understand each other and that we really are trying to play for promotion fisher accelerates away and finishes into the bottom corner he is, Fisher is honestly one of the best players in our side. It, you know, and the stats speak for themselves, really, when you look at that. He scored two goals today, all those shots, four shots and two goals. Great defending by Berry. Berry looks like he's going to be another person that we potentially um, give a new contract to as well, because... Um, like I mentioned, we're going to be trying to keep a couple uncles in, <laughs> a few uncles in the side, our play in, wonderful, Mertens breaks away, can he get his second, the wonder kid, yes he can, 
Merton scores a fantastic second goal, hooking up with um, Fisher once again, who shows fantastic hold up play and playing in the young lad for his second goal of the season. Wonderful switch by Berry, giving it to Barkley. He just, just misses out there, but Howells picks it up, gives it to Mertens, who plays in Thomas. Can he finish? Just misses, but gets the rebound. You know, wonderful performance by the lads today. 6-2, all in all. And that might be our biggest win of the season, I think. Yeah, it's quite possibly our biggest win of the season. And, you know, that this was a fantastic, fantastic game. Um, Mansfield got truly battered by us. <laughs> truly battered. And, um, yeah, I don't blame them for being down like that. Because um, we really took the game to them. Um, Thomas had a fantastic game. Fantastic return, as did Fisher. Gardner playing fantastic from a defensive midfield position and yeah it looks like we're actually improving like it actually looks like we're gelling as a team we're growing as a team we're starting to understand how each and one of us um, perform what we want what we need and um, it's all it's all it's all looking it's all looking rosy so we had some youth players that were unsettled and it was pretty much I guess the most talented youth players that we have within our side so Kawasi as a left back so he wasn't to get promoted anyways in um in January period so you know that's it's not it's not really too much of an issue to be honest Kawasi and and Apayo being unsettled um they're gonna come up anyways so they just forced my hand really <laughs> so um yeah so we managed to bring these guys up because um yeah why not why not bring them up maybe a month or so earlier, get them on the um, senior training plan. And they have good stats, as you can see, as he had intercept and tactical. So, you know, um, our hands were forced slightly with these guys, um, but all in all, it's gonna work in our favor. Manzu as well, um, whose mum is Asian. No, his mum is Sierra Leonean and his dad is Chinese. <laughs> so, that's his African roots and he, he looks like he's going to be the, quite the physical striker as well. So he has first touch and bruiser and you can see he's all, only 18 as well. So, you know, our hands were forced slightly, but, you know, we're, we're, we're going to use these players come January anyways, which is only a month away. And next up, we're going to be playing Doncaster. Come on, you Lions. After that fantastic performance by Mertens in the last game, I think he deserves to play in this one. Deserves to start even, so we put him in as an attacking mid. Let's go. Our camera lens trained on one man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA TV? Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. It's the Lions and they face Doncaster Rovers. Might be a chance here. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. He might yet finish. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Promising pass. Surely. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then the finish is fairly soon. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. This could be troublesome. It might be. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Going inside. 
He fancies it. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. How the hell did this go in? This is poor. I honestly have no words for this type of goalkeeping. <laughs> oh God, that is, <laughs> that is horrible. He was actually behind the ball. I don't know why he moved in that direction. Um, yeah, apart from that goal, that was a really confident performance. Um, you know, Fisher getting two wonderful goals and he's really putting his foot through those balls, isn't he? Pause, but he is really hitting it with great conviction. Mertens also had a fantastic game again, linking with Fisher, and they're really starting to show signs of like a great partnership coming through. And you know what? That is probably why I want to give Fisher a new contract at the side to be an uncle to bring through those young players that are going to be playing around him on the wings, attacking midfield or left um, um, centre midfield. You know, so Fisher is definitely going to be one of the main uncles that we keep in our Sabi FK, Sabi FC kick save. Um, and it was nice to see Emzu come off the bench as well and get a few min a few minutes. Um, and Kawasi, you know, that's that's what we're about. We're about giving young players the opportunity to play. And in the save, in our African development youth save, we are definitely going to be bringing through so many players it's going to be unreal we're going to be bringing through so many players um so yeah fantastic win by the lads and we keep on moving because that's all we can do so that leaves us in fifth guys we are fifth after 26 games we are fifth we are in one of the promotion spots and you know i can't ask for more from the lads to be honest um, they've played fantastic well that was a fantastic run of games that we had today we have 43 points and we're looking strong we're actually looking solid let's just forward to the next sc um, scouting update and as you can see our players are growing fantastically well across the board Apaya is looking at some centre back Ketzel Smith is going to be one of our wingers and he looks like he's going to be a really good addition to the wing and Kossi as well is training to be um, a winger on the right hand side. He's left footed. We have Pape Mango, who's going to be a nice attacking midfielder. And, um, you know, I can't really fault these guys. They're actually developing really well across the board. It's going to be so interesting seeing these guys play come January. Um, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, stand up. Nigeria, stand up. Ghana, stand up. <laughs> this is the African youth development save. And, you know what, guys? Um, I have no complaints and I think I think these guys are even looking better than our current players. Um, but that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.